Hey everyone, so today I'm filming my May favourites for you guys. I have some like perfume, some accessories, makeup, hair care, movies, music, all of that kind of stuff that I want to share with you. Everything will be listed down below and I do have a bunch of discount codes for like some of these things as well. So check the down bar after you watch this video. Save some money. If you're wondering about my makeup, but I did film this makeup look. It'll be up at some stage. I don't know when, but it will be up eventually. Okay, I'm going to start with accessories. I have two accessories I want to share with you. The first is this like choker necklace and this is from Veronica B. I have just been obsessed with this. You guys know that those like high neckline turtleneck um, vests and like sweaters and stuff like that are really on trend at the moment New Zealand and Australia So lately when I've been wearing like a high neckline like skivvy or whatever I've actually been wearing this on it as well If you guys saw a picture of me on Instagram with Sally, I was wearing this It's just such a pretty piece and I feel like you could wear it in the evening or during the day Depending how you style it. I've just been loving it. So I thought I would share it with you Next up is a watch and I attempted to put it back in its packaging so you can see how it comes packaged It is by Daniel Wellington. This is my second Daniel Wellington watch I have the plain black one which you guys have seen before but this one here is the I don't remember what the actual name of it is called I'll list it down below for you so you can like find it if you want to get the exact same one as me but it's navy white and pink and then I got it in silver I've only worn this once it's still pretty new but I just wanted to show you because I'm obsessed with it I've actually wanted this one for the longest time because my flatmate Ellie well my old flatmate Ellie had it and I was so jealous. So that's how it looks. I am just obsessed with these watches. If you like the look of this, you can go on their website. I think it's danielwellington.com. I'll list it down below. And I have a discount code, which is Shannon. And that will give you 15% off until the end of the month, I believe. I'll list all of the info down below. So check down there. I'll talk about my perfume next. I have been wearing this one most days when I wear perfume. I don't wear perfume every single day because I forget. But when I do wear perfume, I've just been reaching for this one a lot. I got this off Smelly Cat. .co.nz I think the website is I'll list it down below um, this is Dolce & Gabbana Desire and it just smells so sweet and sexy so according to this website the top notes are like orange lilies bergamot and then the base notes are like vanilla sandalwood a little bit of caramel but to me honestly it smells way more caramelly than like fruity it's so weird because it's like caramelly sexy and sweet but it still has that fresh factor to it I think that must be like where the fruit comes in it's not sickly and overpowering it's like the perfect balance so I've been obsessed with this I definitely recommend you go sniff it out <laughs> sniff it out so that's the only perfume I've got two hair care products dun dun both of these are like leave-in kind of conditioning products this one here is Numi Argan Oil, and I mentioned this in a sponsored video recently, a hair tutorial. I'll list it down below. This video here is not sponsored. Like, I love this stuff. You need the tiniest amount. This bottle is almost full. I actually had this previously, but then I lost it. So this is like a fairly new bottle, but I really, really like it. It just makes my hair feel so like smooth and silky. Argan oil is just like amazing for your hair. So I've been loving this. And then the other product I've been using is similar. This is an oil as well. This is the Kerasilk Ultra Rich Keratin Care Oil for extremely unmanageable and damaged hair. I use this one more so in my damp hair. Like after I wash my hair, I'll use this. And then I usually use this like to finish my hair styling. Like once I've straightened my hair or whatever, I'll put a little bit of this in. Sometimes I use this in my damp hair as well. Just depends what I'm feeling, but I've just been loving both of these. What should I do next? My favorite lashes this month have been a little bit different for me. Usually I'm all about the long lashes, like at the moment, I'm wearing EXO Beauty The Romantic. But in everyday life, you know, like off camera, like when I've just been going out for dinner with friends, when I've just been going like shopping with Hamish or whatever I've been doing, when I wanted to wear lashes, I've been really reaching for these ones a lot. These ones are called The Innocent and they're just very, like not short short, but they're about the natural length of my eyelashes. But they're super, super dense and like voluminous. If I show you a close up, you can kind of see what I mean. Um, and they don't have too much curl to them. These are perfect just for like natural lashes. If you have small eyes, if you have like naturally straight eyelashes, or even like hooded eyes, they are perfect for hooded eyes because they're not too long, but they still give you that volume and that kind of a wispy effect. I love these so much. Next up, one of my favorite lip combos this month has been Dry Cosmetics Kimchi Doll mixed with Dry Cosmetics Candy Kiss. Kimchi Doll was made by Sophia Chang here on YouTube. Fashionista something something something. I'll link her down below. Kimchi Doll is just the most beautiful nude lipstick. It's been my go-to lately. It's kind of like a pinky kind of nude. I am just obsessed with it. If I swatch it for you. And I'll do a little overlay of me wearing um, both of these colors on top of each other. And then Candy Kiss is My Lip Gloss by Dry Cosmetics. Of course, this is going to be my favorites because I'm obsessed with it. These two colors 
are literally a match made in heaven. Candy Kiss is the perfect kind of pastel light peachy pink and it just looks so good on so many different skin tones. I know it looks uber light but you can actually mix it on top of colors like 1995 by Dry Cosmetics and it just gives it that soft peachy hue without making your lips look super pale. Although it is very opaque so you only need a very small amount if you have a darker skin tone whereas if you're like a lighter skin tone you can really pack it on and as you can see it's like super super opaque. So yeah I'll put a little like overlay of me wearing both of these lip colors so you can see how they look mixed together. Might as well talk about the next Shanexo affiliated product. Honestly though, I'm obsessed with this. This is my ColourPop Deluxe Eyeshadow. This is the color that I kind of like designed with ColourPop. I have four colors. This is one of the colors out of the set. I've just been wearing this often. This one is actually like kind of new. My other one is in my travel makeup bag because I've recently been traveling quite a bit. Um, this one's just what I have on hand. But basically I've just been using it all over my eyelid. You can really kind of blend it out. So I pop it on my lid and then I keep blending it into the crease just like this and it's like a one color all over the lid like complete makeup look. It just ends up looking so effortless and quite smoky and sultry and then I just like add a little bit more on the lid just to deepen up that glitter and it's just so beautiful. I might have to show you guys in a tutorial at some stage because it's just been like my go-to kind of eyeshadow look because it only takes like 20 seconds to do and you don't need any brushes you just use your finger so that's what I've been using a lot as well. Next up I have a concealer product. I've talked about this like plenty of times on my channel but lately I've just been using it like a lot more than normal. This is the Kevin Aquan SX06 Sensual Skin Enhancer. This little pot of gold. It's quite expensive but honestly this thing will last you forever. I've had this for like a good like probably almost two years or something. I'm guessing. I don't even know how long I've had it. It's been forever though. And you can see like I've used basically none. This stuff is super high pigment and it's super high coverage. You need the smallest amount. I've just been using it like over my redness. I've been using it on my pimples. I don't really use it under my eyes. I haven't really tried it under my eyes just because it's kind of thick. But you can mix this product with like primers and moisturizers and stuff to kind of customize the coverage as well. I've just been obsessed with it. If you struggle to find products to cover like rosacea or bad acne or anything like that, I would definitely suggest giving it a go because the pigment is just insane. Next is a fairly new product to me. I've only had this for like a week, but I've been so obsessed with it already. It is so beautiful. It's the new Hourglass Bronzer. This one is in Radiant Bronze Light and it's just such a beautiful color. I'm wearing it today and it just gives you a really warm glow and I thought it would be really shimmery but it's really not it kind of just gives like a skin finish to your skin because it's got that slight shimmer to it if you think about it natural skin isn't matte so this finish just looks so natural I'm kind of wearing it like on my forehead and around my cheeks and everything it's just so beautiful it is super pigmented as well I wasn't expecting it but it's so 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 easy to blend out that you don't have to really worry about putting on too much because it just buffs out and looks flawless. This is definitely like a high-end kind of purchase but if you've been thinking about it but you're not sure like if it's worth it I definitely think it's worth it. Next is another kind of bronzer and highlighter. Um, this here is by Illamasqua. It is their Sculpting Power Power Duo. <laughs> powder duo in the shade Lumos and Heliopolis. This is so pretty, especially for like fair skin. The contour shade's really pretty. It's a little bit warm, but honestly on me it looks fine. Like I'm not into that super, super gray look. And then the highlighter is just phenomenal. Like I have to swatch this for you. Obviously this is like a super thick swatch, but can we just appreciate that color? If it was sunny outside right now, you guys would be able to see the reflection as well. Like it is so reflective and so intense and so beautiful. It's like the perfect kind of champagne pink. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging is so bulky and like unnecessarily big, which kind of annoys me for like traveling and everything, but the actual product inside is like gold, so I like it. Next up is one more highlighter. Wait, I've got, actually I've got another one after this. It's definitely been the month of new highlighters and bronzers for me. Anyway, this is the new NARS Dual Intensity Blush, and this is in the shade Frenzy. I love this for a highlighter. This for a blush is beautiful, but the highlighter is like what I'm all about. The really cool thing about this as well is you can use it wet. So if you love that like super highlighted look, kind of like what I'm wearing today, you can wet the powder or like wet your brush and apply it wet and it's just so intense and so reflective and beautiful. They really do complement each other. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. And then the other highlighting and contouring palette. I'm not going to talk much about this because I've just been talking about highlighters and contours for ages, but this is the NARS Highlight Contour Palette and I just had to mention it because it is an amazing palette for an affordable price. The banana powder is just as good as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one at a fraction of the price. The highlighters are beautiful. Honestly, this palette is amazing. You should definitely pick it up. It is so affordable and so, so, so good. I prefer this 
more than my Kat Von D one. And compared to my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I like it just as much. So definitely pick this up. Okay, so that is all of the makeup. Now I'm going to talk about my favorite movie. So the other day I went out with Hamish, we went to the movie theater and we watched Spy. Basically it's like an action comedy kind of movie. It was just so good. Like I don't even want to say what happened in it. I will link like the trailer down below or something so you can kind of check it out but I definitely recommend going and watching it it was so funny and just definitely like worth a watch it was good two thumbs up and then favorite songs I have two that really were like my ultimate favorites this month the first one is Hurricane by Dylan Francis and Lily Elise and oh my gosh okay so I tweeted you guys I was like oh my gosh if you haven't heard this song yet you should definitely listen to it like it's not super new or anything but I've just been listening to it like 24 7. Dylan Francis retweeted me he favorited me and he replied to me and then Lily Elise replied to me and she was like oh I really like your videos I was like ah. so yeah I'm totally fangirling and it made me love the song even more but listen to it it is so amazing Dylan Francis is like on fire at the moment it is so good <laughs> I dance like a dad. And then the other song I really have been like obsessed with, me and Hamish love it, but a lot of my friends do not like it at all. I feel like it's one of those songs you may love or hate. Um, it is called Intoxicated by Martin Solveig. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. I've never really caught on to that. But it's the Sleepy Tom remix. And it's very different. It kind of reminds me of something you would be listening to at like a cocktail bar or something. But it's just so like chill. And I've just really been liking it a lot. See what I mean? It's like so chill. songs I've been like obsessed with lately. I feel like showing you a different song. Self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I'm not a fan of some of her other new music. Like that American Oxygen song hasn't really grown on me yet. But I love me some Rihanna. Rihanna is my number one girl crush. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but literally like if I ever met her, I would like melt into a puddle and drown in it. I just love her. She's just so badass. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Let me know down below what was your favorite song and your favorite movie and your favorite makeup product this month. I want to know. Leave a comment. And as I said, I've got some coupon codes. I'll list them all down below where they are relevant and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Oh, well, that was really intense. Bye! <laughs> like clubbing or parties or whatever. You could definitely wear this casual just by chucking on like a jersey and like whatever, like some casual boots or casual heels or something. And can I just say something? Like I've never actually acknowledged this on my channel before. Every time I show my body in a YouTube video, for some reason people just think that they are entitled to comment on how my body looks. I'm just gonna say, I love my body. I take care of my body. I look after myself. I don't care if you guys think I'm too fat or too short or too